Goedemorgen allemaal. Good morning everyone. Uh, good morning, alle Deutsche. Hartelijk uh, welkom. Well, welcome here at Checker Hotel. Uh, first morning, uh, Saturday morning, first talk. Uh, we're going to talk about sex. Are you male or female? That's what consumers ask, right? Uh, for most of the people in the celebs pick one of the boxes. Mostly just. But there are many people who don't fit in either the boxes. There's somewhere in between, there are both or none of the above. So how do computers deal with this? Computers don't like that. Programmers don't like that. And there are also some folks who don't like that. So therefore, this first talk uh, will be somebody from the LGBTQ community covering at least three of those letters, yep. or perhaps a little bit more. Uh, Daniel <laughs> is uh, in her like, regular life fantastic from Society. Uh, but today she will talk about her favorite topic. Daniel. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> well, who am I? Who is Dani? I'm a penetration tester. So my, my official job title is Estable Hacker. I absolutely wish for just a year. I'm a penetration tester. I, I make noise when I get in. I don't really hack. I don't really have team. I just barge in the door. Well, I'm Flavik, and I'm in. So, yeah, I have to put in Emily, because you just need Emily. Also, our screen is not working, so I have to look at the screen with you. I am a, well, member of WICA, the Women's Cyber Security Community in Amsterdam, uh, a group of people who want to bring more women into cyber security. Uh, and I'm a crazy plant lady. These are my coffee plants, because I need coffee, I don't really grow my own, I hope. And these are my trees. Sequoia dendron, so giants and sequoias, and some oaks and beaches. And that's what I do at home. But I'm more than that. I'm more than crazy plant lady, uh, pen tester, and uh, wigan. I'm also a lesbian. One of the letters. I'm asexual. Except one. And I'm transgender. And this is the thing what made me do this talk. Um, why people ask me to do this talk? You probably have seen this Nikki Tutorials. Netherlands' most famous, most successful YouTuber was blackmailed and forced to come out as trans because apparently she was trans woman. I didn't know that. Uh, this was news for me. Um, in Poland, we have LGBT free zones. This is really nasty if you hear that they're like, yeah, there's zones in this country here, but you don't exist. Um, this was when I was in London last year. Uh, I was in London at that time, actually. And I saw the newspapers, the Metro newspaper, opening with a, uh, a, a, an article of a lesbian couple who was beaten up, broken nose, bloody, bloody noses, uh, blue, black eyes, because they refused to kiss in front of a couple of guys, because they wanted a show. And one of the reasons I do this is the suicide levels. Yes, the suicide levels um, in students, these are students that, that um, uh, identify as queer, so gay, trans, lesbian, anything in that. Um, and you see the suicide rates, about 8% of the usual, of the regular students commit suicide or try suicide to 24 to 25% who are queer or are LGBT commit suicide. These are record numbers. In the Netherlands, it is um, lesbian, gay, bisexual teens commit about three to four times more often suicide or try to do it. Transgender teens do it 10 times more than the regular population. And this is all to do with acceptance. Acceptance is key in my talk here. This is my work bag. And yes, I went to the Lego store and I bought a Star Destroyer. I don't need one because I don't have the room in my house for that. I also have this little flag, lesbian symbol, LGBT flag. And I work as a contractor, so I get rented out to a new business, I go to new teams. Every time I join a new team, I get back in the closet. Because I'm afraid what will happen, what people will say. And I'm thinking, do I need to take this little flag from my back when I go to the office for the first time? I didn't. But that thought just occurred to me was for the reason to do something about this. So I'm standing here, 
And at the company I'm working on a, a getting a rainbow network from the ground because we didn't have one. One of the things I would like you to do, and I would try to get as little don't in my talk, from don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, as, uh, as possible. And I would keep positive. One of the things I would like you to ask to do and think about it, gay, calling out things gay or using gay as a cuss word, is really terrible. It is something that normalizes being negative about being gay. And you can do this just by calling out gay or making jokes about men kissing being less manly. Things like that, it's, yeah, it's, it's really painful because if you want to come out of the closet, if you think, oh, I'm less than I'm a gay person, I want to tell my colleagues about my boyfriend or my new girlfriend or my date or my husband or my wife. And they constantly make jokes about being about gay, about demeaning jokes about being gay. Do you think they dare to come out to be open about themselves? No. So, one big don't, don't be a dick. Will Wheaton says, don't be a dick. Just, it's fine to have one, it's fine to not have one, it's fine to have one and not want to have one, it's fine to not have one and want to have one, but just don't be one. Don't be a dick. Be considerate of other people, be considerate of what your words might mean to someone else. So, um, I'm going to do a little bit of basic knowledge, I'm going to do a little bit of personal things you can do, and I'm going to do a little bit about what you do in your professional life. So, the first basic knowledge, import alphabet. We know these for us, right? LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. But do you know Q? Queer. Queer, Queer. yeah. Or questioning. I. Intersex. Intersex. People who are born with more than one physical gender traits, either in hormones or in their uh, chromosomes or in body. There are, this is quite a broad group of things um, that, that exist in sex condition. A. Yeah, but more. We have asexual, we have aromantic, and we have agender. So people who either don't feel sexual attraction, people who don't feel romantic attraction, or people who don't feel any such gender. Uh, every person. If you don't feel male, I don't feel female, every person. P? Yeah. What's the difference between pansexual and bisexual? Sometimes. Uh, bisexual usually is defined as people who are attracted to more than one gender. And pansexual people don't see gender, they see people they like. So pansexual and the plus, because this alphabet is never finished. It's been constantly extended, and I have probably missed about 15 things that I could put in here if you're going to read that book. Inclusive. Good. Because there's never, never, never enough things. But because LGBTQA plus is really hard to talk about, I usually use the word queer. <coughs> queer community, queer people. And if I use the word queer, I mean all of these people. Because the gives you a sentence you can actually pronounce and gives you a thing that you can read without like seeing what happens. So, import vocabulary. This is a bit small. Uh, there are some words I are in my vocabulary and I use quite a lot and a lot of people don't know what they are, so I put a little basic things. Cis and trans. Oh, I'm transgender. I'm from the other side. It's mm -hmm. If you have molecular biology in your, in your history, cis is this side or the same. So, I'm a trans woman. If you identify as a male and you're born male, you have male body, you're a cis male. Um, the gender binary, or the binary, you have male, female, man, woman, <laughs> nothing in between. Well, we know binary, we know what's the same as you. The NB is a short for non binary. People who find, find themselves in between, or both, or there are different things about that, but usually called to NB. Uh, AMAB or AFP, assigned male at birth or assigned female at birth. The straight ally, and I hope I have a lot of straight allies in this place today, um, people who support the queer community. There is some discussion if the A in the alphabet stands for ally, and I think not. 
this discussion about this, the straight the OS hypothesis. Uh, gender critical is a thing that nowadays comes up, and there are people that we usually call transphobes, people who are afraid of trans people. Uh, they usually call TERF, trans exclusionary radical feminist, but if you say that word on Twitter, you get banned. It's a bad offense nowadays. It is a word they thought of themselves. So we start using that word as trans people to say them, and now you get banned for it, and they start calling themselves gender critical uh, transphobes. Heteronormativity is the normalized of heterosexual or hetero romantic relationships. So if you want to watch a random Disney movie, it's a princess, the false love of the prince, and he gets married. That is a heteronormative relationship. Except cookies. There is a model that we use to explain the th difference between identity, attraction, identity, or sex. It is a cookie. It's a gender based cookie. This is a model, and it's far from perfect, but this is the best model we have. You have identity, is how you feel. We have the attraction, is who you like. And you can split attraction in either sexual attraction or romantic attraction. We have the sex or anatomy. Sex or anatomy says, uh, what are your physical traits? So do you have penis, do you have a vagina, do you have XX chromosomes, XY, XXY chromosomes, all kinds of things. Just observable, anatomical facts. And you have your expression. And all these four have a double axis. And you can combine those. So you can have a gender identity that is from here and from here as well. Mine is about here and there, depending on how I feel. Right, the today. Yesterday was like TV and hoodie, my hacker costume. Um, this is a model, it, it helps you think about different things and to separate the. Um, if you're a lesbian or if you're a trans woman, you'd probably be gay because you're uh, you know, like mad. No, 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 no. Still a lesbian. So some people, and some people say, well, so you went to straight to lesbian. You know, I was a lesbian all the time. This was my wife. Um, one thing I would ask for you, kids, clone, knowledge. Read up. Um, one of the things that you can do to awareness is educate yourself. Don't ask me. You may ask the uh, comment to them. But educate yourself. And the wiki portal, LGBT portal, is great. It's a great start. There are tons and tons and tons and tons of resources you can read up. And if you do that, I can ask you one thing is help me, help myself. Like shoot me from stupid questions. Or just don't just read up so you don't have to ask the stupid questions yourself. Um, and this because I am expected to answer all the questions about being trans or about being lesbian, especially about being trans because of all that. So uh, sorry, information, how does that work then? There is a fine article on vagina plastic you can read up with all the curry details. There are videos about it on YouTube if you want. I have not watched those because they're really, really bad. Uh, but they exist. Uh, read up about it. Get yourself educated and you can do it quite easily. Spend like 50 minutes on Wikipedia. You have a lot of knowledge. So now we're going to know what can we do or what can you do yourself. And the biggest one thing is to program the game. Um, you might have noticed I use female pronouns, some people use male pronouns, some people use different pronouns. This guy, different one, if you have seen Edwin's talk last night, he's the guy who opened the bank with a glass of whiskey. Deviant is a pretty damn awesome guy. He talks about guns, he talks about uh, physical band testing and TV. If you haven't seen this guy, go watch his stuff because they're hilarious. They're really, really, really a lot of fun. Um, Deviant is also a really big supporter of the LGBTQ or the queer community in his own right. He is a white cis male, white cis head male, that's how he uh, identifies himself. And he gets uh, asked to talk in conferences quite often. And he does that, and he does that, and when he does that, he looks at the, uh, the lineup, so well, a lot of white men there. Um, have you considered this person of color, this woman, this trans person, this lesbian person, because I know these people 
they are really good at this stuff. They chew and talk and talk about it. And it actually gives up his talk response. Because he wants to have a more diverse conference. And he will refuse to go to a conference uh, if, they, if he thinks it's too wide net. What do we notice here? He put his pronoun in his Twitter bio. And this is the thing you can do, very small little things. Make it normal to talk about your pronouns or about other people's pronouns. So if I have to correct you, I don't feel anxious. I had the other week I had to send an email to my colleague. Yeah, in the, the last email you sent to the old crew, old team, you referred to me as he two times. Which is kind of annoying. And it was a, a genuine mistake. And I haven't talked to this guy on the phone either. So he only knew me my from email. So a genuine mistake, but I sent an email to this. Really terrifying to send that email to God. Yeah, you should, you should hear it. I would prefer you go and see. Um, you see this? This is the Microsoft Ignite page from Ignite 2019. Um, Microsoft is pretty damn awesome in these things nowadays in accessibility and in uh, diversity. Uh, my friend Dave kindly lent me this photo. And with the badges, they had balls and balls and balls of pins you can attach to your badge. Pronouns, he, him. Um, and talk to me anytime. There was also, they talk to me if you know me and don't talk to me at all. For the more introvert people or people that have a spectrum. Um, Marx was pretty damn awesome and this is pretty cool. Well, Dave and Don, if you see him, that's a If you see my friend Dave, Big guy, short hair, mustache, sometimes, sometimes, but sometimes, yeah, little OT, uh, and he speaks a lot of comments as well. And the one thing I was looking for uh, uh, examples, so from like this, something like this, you got to speak with the Deviant on Twitter, if you're really nice guys to talk to. Um, and I asked my friend Dave, from the, oh, do you have something like uh, the Twitter, the, 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 the code page for me, or your presentation <laughs> slide where you use yourself, put your bonus on there? And he said, well, I'm going to send you a photo tonight, and I'm going to change all my presentations right now to put my photos in there. And you might have noticed, where are they? Yeah, normalized pronouns, Twitter bio, conference badge, presentation slides. And this was here. This is a copy of my first slide. I have been to uh, the Chaos Communication Contest in Leipzig last December, and there were a few talks, people put their pronouns in their presentation slide. Nobody talks about it. I think most people don't even know that, but it's something you can do to make it more normal to talk about your pronouns. Um, and you can do it wrong. This is a uh, Canadian artist, Sophie LaBelle. She makes really nice comics about this topic. Um, Why do you do it wrong? No! Relax. I have little things. Oh, well, this is Sky. She's in the next space. Oh, oh, I prefer thin as a pronoun. Oh, yes, then you the space. Oh, oh. This is a correct way to handle it. This is just like, a your step and hey, go on with it, go on with life. Don't make a drama out of it, and don't be afraid of mistakes, because it is hard. I have, I have transitioned, so I have changed my pronouns. I've had a couple of people who change their pronouns. A good friend of mine recently started using middle pronouns, and I'm still struggling with that, because, well, yeah. I have said she for him quite a while now. I have to say him. Yeah, I already am. He, he, she, yeah, he, he is. Do it wrong because, well, failure is always an option. And it's another fucking opportunity for growth. You know, you can learn from your mistakes. If you do it wrong, you can learn from your mistakes. So do it wrong. And yes, I'm that obsessed with you so much. Um, this is thing, normalize it, do it wrong, because how many of you uh, develop, how many of you code? How many of you do all your codes right the first time? You can debug yourself too, you know, you can debug yourself as a human. So, representation matters. I've got uh, some examples from popular media. This is Parfati. If you play the game Outer Worlds, I haven't played myself, but I came across this from to a friend. She is a asexual character uh, that is also biromantic, which is uh, 
odd uh, thing, but it does exist. And it's just a cap strap, just like she has dark hair, and she wears apparently she wears the, 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 the welding goggles all the time, and she's sexual. And there's a little side quest that relates to that in the game, and there's one thing, you can't be a dick to her. They made it impossible in the dialogue options. Um, and that's one thing that you can do if, if, you, if you make a video game or if you make a movie. Okay, I'm not going to debate how good Roger Skywalker is. I thought it was pretty damn good. But this shot was quite a stir. In the final celebration scene, you see two women kissing. And that was quite a stir because, wow, have you seen the two women kissing so fast? That's such a screen in the in cinema. Yeah, I did. I totally did. It was shot last about two seconds. And I'm quite sure that this did exactly the right amount of to get praise from the Greek community. Because we had two women kissing, so we done well. But they made it in, the, in such a way that they could cut it out for countries that don't like it. This shot was cut out in China. Probably going to be, it was cut out in a lot of Arab countries, a lot of conservative countries as well. Because, well, two women kissing is gay. We can't do that. People will catch the key. Um, but this is a thing, and uh, Disney is, is recalculating their return on investment. The minimum amount of effort, maximum return without offending the conservative people or the conservative markets because this is in for money. So I'm really anxious, this is the most looked out film for a while, Thor Love and Thunder. Um, Valkyrie is lesbian or bisexual, not really sure, I haven't read the comics, but she has been queer always in all the comics. Um, Valkyrie is pretty damn cruel, strong female character. Um, and Taika Waititi, the director, as says, if there's a constant, the actress wants to do it, we're going to make a show that queer, that we, everybody will love it. And I hope that's not so low we, and she already kind of said in the last, in, in, in the first film that she appeared, they thought, yeah, 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 it felt pretty square, felt pretty. So, people are really watching, but yeah, at Disney production, people are calculating that we don't that's right now. So I hope this really turns out well because, well, Valkyrie, look for a queen to rule new Asgard. I'm into that. Um, but yeah, how many of you make big blockbuster movies? How many of you write those pop examples? Or see those pop examples in presentations? Probably a lot. So I made a little alternative about Alice and Bob, but now Alice and Jane. Um, Let's say it's Valentine's weekend. Alice wants to send an email to her friend Jane, who she loves. But she doesn't want her parents, oppressive school, conservative government to know that she is gay and that she loves Jane. She uses encryption. So she can put her in a message, send it encrypted to Jane, and says, I love you. And government guy won't be able to read it. This is a really common example if you go into game cryptography, you also have if Alex who wants to send a message to Bob, make it Alice and Jane. Make it Bob and John. Make it something. Uh, these are the quite small examples we can do in the daily life. Um, so, yeah, Alice and Jane, Bob and John, Elvis and Gerald if you know which movie I'm referring to. And now, computer system error. I have changed my gender. I have been to the, all the, 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 the bureaucracy of changing my gender. Some, some business is pretty cool. I was my bank, I'm G, what do I need to do? Yeah, just go to the office, show your ID, we fix it right there and then. Took me five minutes, that's a bad coffee. Uh, H&M, the big clothing company, if you have an online account, no, they can't do that. You, you just close your account and build a new one. Yeah, but my credit status, sorry, we can't change that. Um, so, some systems just don't have the physical option, because you have a moment of the button to switch, because the database doesn't can do it, can get the changes, it's right once, change them, no update function. 
So here we go to the what API the time part. Um, think about forms. How many times do you have to put a form? Your <laughs> gender, this is even an already a bit better, gender or set. If you just want to buy a book. I want to buy a book. What's your set? I just want to buy a book. You need my address, so you can send it to me. And I need to give you my payment deed, so you can like trust your credit card. Why do you need my stuff? Yeah, but you want to know how to address you. Oh, you want to know my salutation? Ask my salutation. I would like for dear daddy to that. Or dear to that. Um, so this is a little form from Wicca. Uh, I, had, I used to write up. And the other thing was so nice to put prefer not to say or publish or else, something else. And it had like a little line. You can put some of your own things there. So I'm not male, I'm female, or not binary. You could write that in. No problem. Or just prefer not to say. The last question is sex is a required question. When even it's not really relevant. But do we have? We want to know how to talk to people. This is a fine way to do that. Um, usually that database looks something like this. User ID, sex, yeah, Twitter account. But you want to look like this. Um, well, what do we do? This is my really, really, really crappy sequel I wrote uh, two nights ago. We start by alt table, add a column called gender, and give it a string size of 26. 25 or how does get it? Just I think 26 should be okay. Then we're gonna move the old f to gender female, we're gonna set the m to gender male, and we delete the common sex. We don't need it anymore. Don't forget to update your average. I am not a developer, I'm not a database here, but the architect, so you can do probably do way, way, way better than me. You get the point. Um, and also update the APIs. So, oh. yeah. gender, woman, reason, I want to learn that, I was saying, why would you like to go get free ticket to hardware hacking, which is pretty awesome. Well, I want to learn hardware hacking. So, gender, woman, or a free spot. This is something you can do. We are the people, I think a lot of us are, People who think of these systems, who design these systems, who build these systems, who maintain these systems, who test the system, we can change this. So the computer will not be the yeah, but the computer can handle it. Computer can handle this. This is my first piece of code actually moved to production. I wrote this three years ago. A little bit of, little bit of uh, uh, HTML. Some people say it's not code. I think it's code. It's still in production right now. I checked last, uh, last night. It's still on the website. And it is a form to uh, apply for a uh, loyalty card. And yeah, I had to do that. Like, dear sir, dear man, gaat hier, gaat er vrouw. There's the for now. There's the Daniel. Here is your card. Dear Daniel, dear sir, dear sir, the card. The dog, you need to look at me now. Can just talk to me like a different person. Um, this was the best I could get away with back then, but it was something, it was a little thing. Um, what can you also do? If you work in HR, this is something I saw in Leipzig, in one of those in the thread. This is a poster that asks you for lifeguards at, I think, an outdoor swimming area. Uh, and instead of just male, female, they ask for Man lieg, wij lieg, voor de divers. Male, female, diverse. Nowadays, I see a little bit of things like this in, 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 in the job ads. Huh? Male, female, X, male, female, other. I think the diverse is a really good one. Should say what the language. And the male, female, diverse, really, really works for me. And I started using it right now. What else can you do? Well, if you don't remember, I don't do any of that. If you work at the company, ask your facilities to put in a pin at all toilets, even the male toilets, because some men menstruate. Some men has, have a need for a pin in their toilets. Either because menstruate or they have other issues. Put a pin in your toilet or ask for your toilets to be gender neutral. 
And I think at this time, um, there's still a need for separate toilets as well. So we have to switch out a little bit. So put make half your toilets gender neutral, make half your toilets gender separate. But also make sure that men get the trash can. And uh, what else can you do? I write reports. I've been writing pen testing reports for just over a year now, and they've all been gender neutral. Nobody has ever noticed like this. But I have never wrote a hacker or a attacker who does or he does this or when he gets this oh, thing, singular thing. I use singular thing all the time. In fact, I used to it in the English language. I'm using it also in the Dutch language. Yeah, and the hacker and als hem het wachtwoord heeft gedaan, eh, if they have the password. And that's a bit hard because Dutch is my first language. It's a bit unnatural, but start doing it and do it every once in a while, or start doing it with your reports. Or if you in development you want to use the stories, <coughs> as a server agent, I want to be able to send a user a text message so I have an easy way to send them their password. This already in English is common for you. Years, for decades even, nobody ever noticed. But now we're talking about using singular they. This is new. But you could also have written, so we have an easy way to send him or her their password. I can let him or her just write that. This is something we all can do. These are things we can do to make a little change to talk about pronouns. And to make a little change to feel people more included in the world, in society and in the workplace. So, I want to close though, oh, it's okay, than I expected. Um, be excellent to each other. And I didn't know Dimitri had this initial as well, but yeah, be excellent to each other. Be considerate, don't be a dick. Be nice to everyone else. Um, yeah, I was thinking, can I, can I put the, 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 the link in? Party on, dudes! So, yeah, that is the Abraham Lincoln. Um, I'm really anticipating the new movie. And I have room for questions, and uh, you can ask me questions here. You can ask me questions on my Twitter account. So, uh, at Zeroids D4NY. Or I have also made a Curious Cat account, so you can ask me questions anonymously. And for this weekend, I would consider it an AMA. Ask me anything, either in person, on my Twitter account, or anonymous. And I will answer all your questions, or at least consider answering. Even your questions I usually will not answer. It's like questions about my genitals. I get those a lot from attention. So, your trans, yeah. How, how do your genitals look? Why do you care? It's my genitals. But for this weekend, this weekend, please. I will be uh, answering questions on everything. So talk to me in the hallway, send me in a curious chat, send me a Twitter message, my DM is open, I believe. And I would welcome you to ask questions here if you want. Depends on the system. If you're in the medical world, you might want to differentiate between genders. Uh, the question was just oh yeah, sorry. Uh, the question is, do we prefer to uh, uh, not track gender at all, or, or just update the system so to reflect more genders, be more inclusive? Depending on the system you have. If you're selling books, don't record gender. Ask for salutation. If you're in the medical world, medical profession, for something that might be easy, handy for you not to know about your anatomy. Um, if you need a certain uh, screening, if you need to have certain blood types drawn, um, your doctor might want to know. Might need to know, even in some, some cases. Um, but if you don't really have a need for gender, just don't need it. You just get it out. Yeah. Or is that my bias? 
Now, that's not your bias. Uh, the question is, uh, in Africa, you have quite a large amount of trans people in there. I think you're mainly referring to trans women, I guess. Um, and there is some theory about it that if you are trans, you're usually socially isolated because you're afraid to go out or you get kicked out of your family, your community, your school, your workplace. And working as a hacker or in IT, you can do it on your own, at your desk, in your own home, without ever talking to anyone in person if you need to. So it's a safe, safer spot. Um, this might be a reason why there are a lot of trans people in IT, so they can do some work, be productive, but don't have to face society if they want to. If they don't want to. Well, this was a German ad, and German words are, oh sorry, uh, the question was why is the job ad gendered and why just don't omit the gender marker at all? Um, the word Fachkraft is uh, explicitly male. Uh, I think that the German word for women would be Fachkraftin, uh, or at least a female version of Kraft. Uh, so German, the German language is really, really gendered. So they put in Fachkraft, the male word, male, female, or diverse people. So it, it's a choice you make, and if you can omit it, you can omit it. Just like the gender marker in your database, if you don't need it, you don't need it. Um, the German consensus is we do the, the, the male, female, diverse nowadays. So the question is, if uh, it was a shooting for lifeguards, um, do we need to segregate male or female lifeguards for male or female swimming? Yeah. Um, maybe. I have, I have to ask. I have been to Leipzig to ask them, to, why do you want to diverse people or male or female people? I'm not sure. But uh, it, might, it might be a factor in this. Um, what for, for English and for Dutch? Yeah, the, the question is, are there general guides to be more inclusive? Uh, I haven't Googled it yet, no. so it might be no. uh, What you can do, especially if you go look, look, look for the web, please go to uh, workplaceparty.org. They have some, some great uh, things. They even have like the business case for an inclusive workspace, which is a really, really big document from the European Union. I still have to read that one. Uh, but it, it literally puts numbers to, well, if you be inclusive, you make more money. They make a business case out of it, so this, this works. Uh, but workplace.org is a really good place to start if you want to build a more inclusive place at work. And just in general, educate yourself so you, you are aware of what happens, and aware of how people feel, and that makes a lot of difference. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.